see the static structural analysis of the crankshaft. For a static structural analysis of the crankshaft, just click on the static structural and drop it into the regions where you want to create a standalone system. This is not a real time analysis where we are going to learn the static analysis of the crankshaft by step by step analysis. First of all, you go to the engineering data and double click on the engineering data. There is a window opens known as material windows. Here we are going to add the material of the crankshaft. Our material is loy steels of loy steels. There is a property density. Just click on the density and put the value of 7700 newtons. This is the kg meter per cube and next steps Young's modulus is the 2E5 just click on the Young's modulus and put the value as according to our material move it towards the next steps put the SUT and SYT this is the SUT of our uh, material 250 MPa and a compressive yield strength 1000 and ultimate tensile strength of 650 MPa as we uh, want to change this material, double click on that material and put the value as you want. Just uh, putting all these value return to the project. Otherwise, if you want to add the material, just click on there and import. If it, this is not a standard material, just click on the edit material library and just put it the value of density and modulus and SUT, SYT of the material. After the putting of these materials, return to the projects and click to the geometry and then right click on the geometry. Here we go. Re replace or uh, browse the geometry. From browsing the uh, geometry, we will be open the options and from where you can save the files and open that where files. Where are I have already imported this file, so I am not going to replace this file and move it once the next step models. Double click, otherwise, right click on the models and going to edit. There is a window opening, just wait a minute. Here we go. In that Window. This is the static structural windows. In that window, we are going to uh, put the geometry where we are part one, part two, part three, part four, and part five. These all are connected with uh, each another with the rigid connectivity. Flexibles are changed to the rigids. You can change from there. Connectivity is going to be rigid. There is the flexible connectivity between these parts. After that, uh, going to the meshings, just click on the mesh and right click, generate the mesh. And generating this mesh, going to be generate this mesh. After that, going to the structural and uh, static structural and insert. Insert first of all the fixed support. So I'm going to the fixed supports, this is the fixed supports, and here we see that flange, left flange and right flange are the fixed support 1 and fixed support 2. For fixed support, click on that icon, that is the face and click on the control button and select all the left waves and click apply for first and for the next uh, support, click here, static structurals, insert, fixed support and go to the face, select, uh, press the control and select the right waves and click apply, that is the over of uh, uh, fixed supports. After that, go to the uh, static structure analysis and uh, insert force. Here we are going to insert the force. Just click on the face and select the uh, select the just select the pin crank pins. Just select the crank pit uh, from their face and upper uh, part and lower part. After that, go to the uh, going face, click here, 
two phases selected phase one and phase two going to uh, magnitude and put the values of the force 5067 at newtons click to change the uh, direction if you want to change the direction click on, on uh, apply and uh, change the direction click on here uh, you select that up down uh, this is the arrow here up up and this is the vertically downward force so uh, change the directions and apply after that uh, initial boundary condition over it is a fixed support one fixed support two and force three which is acting on these bodies after that go to solve and click hit hit the solves <laughs> that's initiate the solving and solves after that you go to the solution step ins and insert the stresses in stresses equivalent stress equivalent von Weiss stresses insert after that you can insert the insert the total deformation as we go deformation and total deformations after that going to the solve solving this will give the result of the static structural equivalent stress of equivalent von Weiss stresses as we see that this is uh, 257 mpm maximums this is going to be animated like that yes okay if you want to change the time for, uh, for that animation go to the area and select the time frame of 10 seconds okay after that total deformation it look like that here we see that the total deformation in the crank pins go to animate just click on the animations and you can see how this deformation comes from after completion of this uh, result is go to the here and choose the fatigue analysis find fatigue life and safety factor just click on that and you will find that Okay. From here, you can insert the results life and damage as we uh, here already inserted life and damage. After insert, you just click to solve and you will get the result of the life. Here, we got the number of cycles, yes, and total damage. Here, we over the first static structural analysis uh, of the crankshaft and the fatigue life analysis of the cranks I and mean, in the next video we are going to see the model analysis and harmonic analysis thank you